What's up you guys? It's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another Juicy Fat video. All right, as you guys can see by the title, today's video is pretty chill, all right? We're doing like a get ready with me chit chat video style and I'm really excited because I haven't done one of these in like a hot minute. And we need to get this ashy ass face together, okay? I'm getting ready to head out to meet my friends for my engagement dinner they're throwing me. Oh my gosh. I still cannot believe I'm engaged, bro. And I'm asking my friends tonight to be my bridesmaids. <laughs> You'll see that video before this video is up, but yes, so tonight it's really, really exciting, okay? I laid it all out for them, but I'm gonna save the details for the video that you guys to see. I'll probably post it in my shorts, so stay tuned for that video, on the lookout for that video. But yes, I'm really excited to do this video. I already knew I wanted to do a video style like this coming up soon, so I was like, ask me some questions of just like things you guys just wanna know or just like wanna talk about. So we're going to be chit-chatting as I'm getting my ashy ass face together and answer you guys' questions. So let's go ahead and get into the video because my lips are chatting. Okay, okay. I just realized that I have not recorded a video in my closet in a hot minute. Like, I kind of miss this space. Like, I've always felt like when I'm in my living room, I'm being way too loud. Like, I know people are walking past my apartment door and are like, why the fuck is somebody in there yelling? So let's go ahead and get into the first question. Okay, quick question. Is my foundation off? <laughs> this is the Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint that I want to try, but I completely forgot that I have a tan. You know how like you switch out your foundations and your skin tints like during the summer and during the winter? Yeah, this is not my color currently right now, okay? But you know what, this is gonna have to do because time is money, like I said. Okay, so the first question is, hey girl, congratulations on your engagement. Can you please tell us what you and your fiance zodiac signs are? I'm a Gemini woman and I need to know what zodiac signs of men are given the ring, LOL. I'm getting ready, girl. <laughs> So I am a Gemini, hey twin, and Kenyon is a Cancer. What? I know, I know, don't log off, don't log off, okay? I hear so many horror stories about Cancer men. Like, oh my gosh. Like every best friend I've ever had in my life has been a Cancer. So me and Cancers go like, neck to neck, okay? I'm also a Cancer, my Mars and my Venus signs are Cancers too, like, oh my gosh, like, I really, really, really do click with Cancers, like, really, really hard. And then I also heard too, like, I believe relationship combat combat combatability, I didn't say that word right, sorry. Um, goes off your moon sign and not necessarily your sun sign. So Kenyon's moon is Capricorn and my moon is Taurus. If anybody is into this or just like knows a lot about astrology, if you could write in the comments like what's going on, you know what I'm saying? Cause girl, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. All I can say is I think I got lucky and I got one of the good cancers because I don't be dealing with those issues that a lot of the other cancer men be giving other girls. Okay, Lord. If I am like really, really jumpy and just like seem fidgety. I am drinking this Dunkin' Donut Spark Energy drink. This got some type of drug in it, okay? Cause I am on tea. Okay, so next question. Somebody added me, what is your goal with content creation? Do you make content for fun or do you have a career path? What do you want to pursue? Very good question miss kike so i think i look at this as more of like like a career thing more than just like having fun with it if you guys don't already know i have been doing youtube like going on seven years now like i've been trying to you know blow this account up for a very very long time and now that i look back on my journey i am definitely grateful of how long it kind of took me to blow up i have learned so much and i think i appreciate so much now because it did take me so long to grow now my goals because i look at this as a career my goals i ain't thought that far yet because i try my best to take the day by day I I feel like my goals of this career that I want to embark on change all the time so you will probably have to ask me that on a different day but for right now I am like I said just taking things day by day trying to get to you know continue to get close to you guys and continue to put out quality content that I know you guys want to see and enjoy but yes I definitely look at this as a career I don't look at this as like fun I take this like very serious 
<laughs> anyway, I also need to tell you guys like what I'm using and putting on my face as I'm doing this. I'm kind of just like rushing right now, so I'm like forgetting. So I already told you guys that I went in with my hourglass. This is the Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. It actually doesn't look that bad. I actually kind of like stood up and went in my bathroom mirror to see like a different lighting, and it doesn't look that bad. So I have that on my face, and then I did the hourglass there in the color chestnut, and this is their contour stick. And for the skin tint and the hourglass, I got it in the shade 11. And then I just put some concealer on my face. This is actually one of my favorite black owned brands from Sephora. This brand is called Amico. They have a really, really good concealers that are so hydrating and full coverage, okay? And then I like to go in with like another concealer. I love Kosas and I love Hourglass's concealers too. I don't know if anybody else has noticed with Hourglass concealers, I feel like they dry out your under eyes. I don't know. I just feel like they dry out my under eyes faster. So I'm gonna go in with Kosas. Okay, so next question. Speaking of what favorite products I love, Cheyenne just asked me, what is your most bestest product you own from Sephora? By the way, I love your videos and tips. Thanks, girl. <laughs> concealers, okay? I think I'm addicted to buying concealers, like for real. Like every time I go inside, no. I'm addicted to buying concealers and skin tints, okay? Oh, this Kosa skin tint is also my favorite as well, okay? Like I said, don't mind me, y'all. I'm all over the place. I am on 10 from this fucking energy drink. <laughs> anyway, but yes, I am addicted to skin tints and buying concealer, okay? I have to tell myself, no, Nicole, put that back because I will go in the store and buy more concealers and skin tints and I don't need any more, okay? Like I just bought this. Just bought this yesterday and I have other skin tints that I'm still using. I'm obsessed. I'm a hoarder, okay? I am a bad hoarder. Please do not be like me and save your money, okay? Save it. Go watch my video that I just, I posted last week of things you need to stop buying. Listen to me, okay? Do not listen to a hoarder person like me, okay? I will have you broke. Well, I take that back, okay? Listen to me, but at your own discretion. You know what I'm saying? Okay, okay, okay. Next question. Somebody said, um, talk about friendship breakups and how to make friends, please. You look so gorgeous. Ooh, girl. Friendship breakups are harder than breakups with a partner. Like, I swear they are. Like, I don't think a lot of people talk about friendship breakups enough. Like, they hurt just as bad as losing a partner does. And you know why they hurt just as bad? Because I feel like friendship breakups are never expected and you never see them coming. I mean, you have signs in your friendship as well that this probably isn't a good friendship, but I feel like it's more obvious and you know it's more common for you to notice them in your relationship than your friendships for some reason. I don't know why. All I know is friendship breakups are hard. And I had my fair share of friendship breakups throughout the years. This was like last year, had a friendship breakup with a friend that I was friends with for almost nine years. So I definitely, you know, worked that out through therapy and had to do a lot of healing just from that. You know, we were friends for a really, really long time. And I just think you know, we grew apart. Like it's not really like any beef or we didn't fall out on a bad note. We just kind of just like grew apart. And that's what sucks as well, because that is really a real thing that you really do just outgrow your friends sometimes. And like I said, you just never expect it. I just feel like it's common to fall out with a partner or to outgrow a partner, but friends, you always feel like they're gonna be there forever. Especially like when you're having big moments like this, when like you're getting married or you're having a baby, like those are the first things you imagine, all your friends being there and bring your bridesmaids, so. Anyway, I don't want to cry because I just did my makeup, but <laughs> I definitely had to heal from that because that was like really hard, like losing my ex best friend last year. So that was hard, but I am still trying to find ways on like how to make friends and build a community. Um, I am really struggling with that, you know, especially like in this industry, I'm really struggling with like finding friends and building a community. But what I try to do is keep praying and putting my best foot forward and putting myself out there. Look, okay, I am not a shy person, okay? I do not have social anxiety. I will go up to a stranger on the street and talk to them all day, okay? I don't I don't know. I've just been blessed with the fact that I can go up to people and talk, which is truly a blessing because I know a lot of people really do struggle with social anxiety and just have a really hard time making friends. So what I can say, if you are somebody struggling like that or you just have like really, really bad social anxiety or just have a hard time making friends or just talking to people, what can I say to you? Damn, just keep trying. Keep putting yourself out there and just keep trying, okay? Yeah, and definitely like look for different things that are going 
on inside your community. That is one thing that I'm trying to tell myself I need to start doing. I definitely live really far from where I grew up at. I'm like, I live in like the Northwest suburbs of Chicago out here with my fiance, I was about to say boyfriend, Lori. And I've been living here for like five years. So like definitely like I need to even take my own advice and start like looking to see like what's going on in my area, my community. So I can like start like meeting people out here. Cause like literally the only people I know out here is my fiance's family. And my mom's side and my dad's side is like, hour away from me so yeah it's it's been a struggle but I am really trying to put myself out there more and um especially within my own community and not just in the creator space so yeah that is my advice for friendship breakups and just like trying to find more friends is that you just gotta keep praying and keep putting yourself out there girl you'll find them next question Somebody said, please tell us about your engagement. Congrats again. Thank you guys so much. Oh my gosh. I think I said this last time when I was talking about my engagement. Like I got so much love the day I got engaged. Like, oh my gosh. And I am still to this day, like in just complete awe that I got engaged. I am so excited. The planning has been going really well. I also go dress shopping, like we were just dress looking September 6th and 7th. I'm also gonna do a video on that. So I'll like keep you guys updated, but it's been going pretty well. Like I said, um, my friends are throwing me a little like engagement party tonight. So like, I'm really excited for that. My friends are like so sweet, you know, to be doing that and stuff like that. Like, it's just crazy. It's just crazy that, you know, God has blessed me and this is my life. And I'm just really excited. I'm marrying my best friend, somebody Aww. I truly do love that supports me, supports everything I do. So like, I just, I, I knew one day that I was gonna get married, but I don't know, like I've been through so much with boys that I just didn't even think this was possible. Cause like, man, have I been through the gutter when it came to boys, okay? Like it took me a long time to love myself and respect myself and only date people that love and respect me. So I have finally like passed the threshold. So I'm just like really proud of myself that I am with somebody that truly does respect me and support me and that I love dearly. So it's exciting. Right now, it's still really early. The wedding date is for next year, August 24th. So everybody save it in their planner because you guys are all coming. I'm just joking, y'all. It's too many, y'all. I cannot get everybody a dinner plate, okay? No. Okay, I ain't balling like that, goddammit. <laughs> but yes, the wedding is next year, August 24th, and it's gonna be in downtown Chicago. So I'm really excited for that, and the planning is going really well. It's still pretty early right now, um, so I'm just kind of trying to take, like, things day by day. I haven't got into the whole, like, invitation list and things of that nature yet. So we already picked the venue, which is something that I wanted to, like, knock out the park really quickly because... I just heard so many stories of like the venue being the hardest thing to find when you're like trying to plan a wedding. So I'm glad we booked that and we got that out the way. And I'm asking my bridesmaid tonight. So I'm really excited for that. Like, I hope they all say yes. They will. They will. Or I'm gonna kick their ass. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I'm not abusing them. I'm not abusing them. Anyway, Kenyon is excited. And I cannot wait to pick out my dress. Like, I'm so excited for that. So excited. So yeah, I'm gonna definitely keep you guys posted. I am horrible with eyeshadow. So when I get done, I will come back because if I keep going with these dark colors, it's gonna fuck around. I'm gonna fuck around and have a black eye. It's gonna look like I got a black eye, okay? I am not good when it comes to eyeshadow. So give me a second. A few moments later. Okay, eyeshadow is done. I use the Skims palette. You can never go wrong with a basic um, I was about to say black eye. Um, no, <laughs> basic smoky eye, okay? That's the only thing I could do, okay? The only thing I could do is a basic smoky eye. That's all I got, that's all I got. Okay, I think I did a good job. Did a little black eye. Can I talk? I did a little black eyeliner under. So it's, it's cute, it's cute, it's coming together. All right, now I'm just about to contour my face. I'm finally coming down a little bit off of this, this. Uh, the energy drink I made, <laughs> feeling better now. Okay, so let's go to the next question. Somebody said, how do you stay motivated in your content creation? Oh girl, that is another really good question, okay? Because I really struggle with motivation when it comes to this, okay? Especially when I was like starting off doing this, I used to always hear creators complain about burnout. And I did not know that shit was real until I started doing this full time. And I'm like, oh my gosh, burnout is so real, okay? I am not constantly burnout. I'm not as burnout as I used to always be, but oh my gosh, I just recently experienced burned out really bad. And I kind of like took like a month 
month off um, the internet and I just had to get my sanity together because man, like burnout is really real. So how I try my best to stay motivated is, you know, really paying attention to those moments when I do feel burnout and instead of ignoring the burnout and saying, oh, I'm just gonna keep going because that's what I was doing. Like I will always ignore the burnout and be like, no, I'm gonna keep going because if I stop, I just felt like I was gonna miss out on something if I stopped or failed or something, I don't know. So now I'm just like acknowledging my burnout and instead of like running away from it or beating myself up because I feel burnt out, I listen to my body and I take a break when it is needed, okay? Like some days, like I don't even wanna see my phone. I put my phone on D&D. I don't even wanna see notifications from social media. Like it's really important if you're gonna do this job to like really listen, I mean, not even do this job, just life in general. Listen to your body. When you need a break, take a break and do not beat yourself up or feel bad about taking breaks. Breaks, okay because you need those breaks to rejuvenate again okay like when I took that month off in April just this past year off of social media and I just kind of like just took a break and you know did a lot of walking and a lot of meditating and journaling and just watching tv you know watching tv is healthy too laying on the couch and watching tv sometimes is needed you know I did a lot of that you know during that month but just taking my me time and when I was ready to get back on social media I was so motivated like I was motivated again sometimes you just like really really need that restart so those are one of the ways on how I try to stay motivated is like just really listening to my body and when my body is telling me okay we need a break we're tired we're burnt out you know take a break I take a break like I said I wasn't always like that I used to didn't listen to my body but now I do like I really do take my breaks really serious because it is really easy to get burnt out especially doing this now correction I am not at all saying that this is a hard job this is not a hard job okay I used to work in fast food <laughs> okay just <laughs> okay if you worked in fast food I don't even gotta say no more okay um this is not a hard job but it's it can be mentally draining. So that's what I mean by like, your breaks are necessary when doing this because this job can be mentally draining. I am not always creative 24 seven, okay? Sometimes I don't know what the I'm doing or what the to post. That's why I asked you guys a couple weeks ago to give me some, you know, stuff to post. But yeah, I don't always feel creative, you know? So, and I feel like a lot of creatives have this issue and that's why breaks are needed because so you can get that creative energy back again. So that's what I do. When I'm in a creative rut, I take a break, do something different, take me some me time and then I feel creative again okay I had to go and get like fully ready do my hair and put on my outfit because time is ticking okay I completely forgot that I'm supposed to be going to pick up the little balloons I ordered to like ask my bridesmaids tonight at six o'clock and it is 6 43 yeah, I gotta go. So I'm gonna show you guys my little outfit. I have on this like really cute white Zara shirt. Yes, you know, brides. And then just these like regular uh, blue jeans, skinny jeans from Good American. Oh my gosh, Good American has such great jeans. They kind of remind me of Forever 21 jeans. I heard Forever 21 jeans are like mad comfortable. These are so comfortable, okay? If you wide in the hips and in the back, go ahead and get you some Good American jeans, okay? They're not cheap though. Anyway, um, I'm gonna answer one more question before I got to get the fuck up out of here, okay? Somebody said, what is your favorite setting powder for blurring the skin? Great question, girly, okay? Cause they're sitting right in front of my face. I love Patrick Ta's foundation palette. It has the foundation up here and then the setting powder here. This setting powder is so good. And then my also favorite setting powder is Huda Beauty. I have the one, this is Banana Bread. This is a really good setting powder too. I really like this one. And then I like Ilias. Ilia, I think that's how you say it. I love their setting powder as well. I typically use this setting powder just for like when I have on like no foundation. It's just a very natural day for me. I like this one. And then when I go full coverage, I like to use the Huda Beauty. Huda Huda. How do you say it? And the Patrick Ta setting powder too. So those are my three go-to setting powders. Oh, I also like the one size pink setting powder too. They have really good setting powder, but I don't really use this one as much anymore. I really use the three I just showed you, but those are like my top dogs my my three that I always constantly grab and use when I need this face to be beat okay and here is the final look I feel so bonita and I need to get my bonita ass out the door okay cuz lord I didn't do too much rambling okay but all the products that I use on my face and body I'm gonna have the products listed in the description box because I did not do a good job of keep you guys updated of, of what products I put on my face I am sorry okay hopefully this video was not too much all over the place but I mean it was supposed to be like a FaceTime video so 
welcome to of what FaceTime is for me. Okay, when I'm on FaceTime with my friends, okay? But thank you guys so much for watching today's chaotic video. And definitely thank you to everybody who left me a comment and asked me a question. Definitely let me know in the comments any uh, tips and advice that you have for any of the questions that I answered from you guys. I love you guys so much. Um, do I need to say anything else? Wish me luck tonight on asking my bridesmaids and for my little dinner party. And your girl is ready. She is feeling good. Oh, I forgot perfume. Uh, thank God I remember that. But I got to go pick up my goddamn balloons. So thank you guys so much for watching the video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.